Hey guys. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a late night review because I waste time far too much and forgot to do a video today. So, I'm going to do the best I can late at night because why not? Well, today I'm going to be doing AI I Love You by Ken Akamatsu. Now you may have heard his name somewhere else if you've ever heard of a series called Love Hina. And that series was relatively good in its own respect, but this one, not so much. It had a very solid plot that was interesting at first, and it did well at being a harem and a romance, but the mixture of ecchi one and almost little to no development too kind of left you wanting more. The series spans over eight volumes, and overall the eight volumes aren't terrible, but one through six was probably the best portion because seven and eight, towards the end of seven, it started trailing off and eight seemed like a bunch of short stories. The last chapter in the series felt almost like Ken Akamatsu sat there and forgot that he didn't make the main heroine say I love you once in the series, but the hero did like eight or nine times throughout the series. So it was just this rush to get to a point, then nothing. There was no development, there was no wanting more, it's like, there. The plot just ended so quickly. Overall, it wasn't a terrible plot though. It started out solid as a very good harem with the edgy traits and all that. A lot of things were centered around boobs, but if, it, if you know Ken Akamatsu, you know a lot of his series are centered around that anyway. Overall, you have a generally decent plot that sort of, very lightly, reminded me of Chobits in the beginning, but other than that, nothing really came out to make you want to read it anymore. I found myself dragging through the volumes and almost wanting to just put it down and read something else because I couldn't find the want to, want to read it anymore. I'm not sure if it's been adapted into an anime, but if it has, that's a very sad anime. I hope it didn't go over 12 episodes, because anything longer than that, and that one's probably even more boring than the novels. Now, if you like certain novels like this, it'll be fine. If all you want to see is just girls and a main dude and like no competition and stuff like that, it'll be perfect for you because that's basically what it is. There's no romance and the little, there actually there is a romance. There's a very slight amount of romance. There's so little romance that you're sitting there wondering how on earth it got into the romantic comedy genre when it's like non-apparent. You can't find it but you can kinda notice it. Like if you were to run through all of the volumes you'd think oh that was a nice friendship because in the end it was just this like almost best friends type of thing. Overall, I'd probably give it five out of five out of ten stars, maybe. I mean, it was an okay read. I read through it all, but I just didn't really want to. And that's a problem for me because I'm not much of a reader. I can read novels and all that, but if I don't want to read it, if there's nothing in the plot, that, plot that's making me want to read it, I'm not going to finish it and it's not going to help them because one, I paid for it and I'm going to sit there with a book I don't want to finish and two, I'm going to give them a bad review about it. So overall, it doesn't help anybody. Now, I won't lie, certain points in the series weren't terrible. I did like small pieces of it in side stories. One of my favorite characters, this one right here, Tony, she had a fairly interesting backstory, and that's covered a lot in the eighth volume. But like I said, the eighth volume felt like it was completely comprised of chapters that could have made up, that could have been like inserted into earlier points in the series and made much more sense. Like he wrote all of them in a chronological order pulled them out and threw them in the last book for no reason. It 
didn't help that I didn't have all the volumes in a succession right off the bat. So I took about three months reading this and it took me even longer because I didn't want to read it. I was picking up the volumes but I didn't want to finish it. I was at like the third volume and had through seven. I just didn't want to read anymore. I couldn't push myself to do it. Now it's not the absolute worst thing but it's not the absolute best. Five out of ten stars I think is absolutely reasonable and any more than that you gotta be a specific person. Your tastes have to match that series and mine just didn't. It was okay but it wasn't the greatest. Well that pretty much concludes it for today's review on Ken Akamatsu's AI I Love You. Next week I'm going to be trying to do a review on Rosario Plus Vampire Season 1. I haven't read Season 2. I don't own any of Season 2. So I'll do it when I have it. I'll do an overview of the complete series when I have all of Season 2. But for right now, I just have Season 1 and I enjoyed it. Um, I will be doing a kind of overall view or collection or whatever they call it now. I think it's a collection. I, I don't know. Of my manga because I have around 120 volumes but other than that I, I'm also a novel reader so I can't really spend all my money or time on manga. Um, today I'm actually going to be doing a mini haul because I was at a used bookstore and actually found some pretty good deals on stuff. I picked up both volumes of Fall in Love Like a Comic. This is a shoujo beat um, series. There's only two volumes in the series, which was great because it's <laughs> simple to pick up. Not doesn't cost a lot. Um, it looks pretty interesting. I don't know everything about it, but I'm definitely interested in reading it. And then the one I'm super excited about is I picked up the first volume of Claymore. I picked this up for $2.40 and it's in almost brand new condition. So that's pretty exciting. Well, Overall today, that's about it. Um, please check out my Twitter and all that. I'm going to put links here. And make sure to subscribe, like, comment. I'd love to hear your opinions. And I'll see you guys next Monday.